From the air, you might miss it. A landscape of gray, nondescript buildings near Washington's Dulles Airport. But this is AI Alley. Two-thirds of the world's internet traffic flows through Loudoun County, Virginia. Two-thirds. If you surf online, you've surely surfed right through here. So we're inside the Digital Realty Innovation Lab. Digital Realty houses the servers and the processors that power the internet and AI. Andy Power, yes, that's his real name, is the CEO. We are literally standing in the power center for the cloud right now. That's right. So anything you did this morning, looking on your device, pulling up an app, in your office, on your keyboards, when you're streaming the Today Show this evening, if you're missing the morning, probably came through a digital realty data center. Behind these flashing lights and cables sit the world's biggest tech companies. Apple, Microsoft, Google, Oracle. Chat GPT, Meta, IBM, Cisco, big banks, and healthcare. The list is endless. What's in these servers? Your Google searches and podcasts, your photos, your social media feeds, your bank and medical records, in essence, your entire digital life. Like the internet, the company footprint is massive. More than a million square feet in one building alone, the size of two aircraft carriers. Digital Realty operates 300 data centers worldwide. Getting an inside glimpse is rare. This looks and feels so nondescript, but there's a purpose, a reason for that, right? It's highly secure. Highly secure facilities. We do try to blend into the community. Hundreds of data buildings have brought huge tax revenue to the county, driving down property taxes. But many neighboring homeowners say, not in my backyard. I don't want to be breathing air from generators. I don't want to be having polluted water or any of those things. Locals fear their electricity bills will jump as energy companies struggle to meet the AI demand. Though Digital Realty says it will be on 90% green power by year's end. But make no mistake, the AI revolution is about to explode. So this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. I mean, so as, as this AI revolution explodes, Tom, is it reasonable to expect that these data centers are going to keep building out in local areas? Well, listen, I think a lot of communities are looking at the revenue that's coming in, the tax dollars, and, sure. it, and they're saying, hey, we want some of that, right? But do we want to pay the price in terms of, as you heard, quality of life? Uh, and a lot of communities are saying we need to take a lesson from Loudoun County in terms of if we are going to embrace data centers and bring them into our neighborhoods because we need that tax revenue. Yeah, but mm. <laughs> how do we offset that and make sure that our electricity electricity costs don't go skyrocketing? I mean, do they employ a lot of people? I get the tax revenue from, from obviously real estate taxes, but in terms of actual people there, are there a lot of folks who work there? Building them with the construction jobs? Yes. Lots of jobs. Okay. But once they're built, mm. it's really kind of minimal Silent. staffing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Good to see you in the flesh, right. Tom. Thank yep, you. good to be here. Hey, thanks for watching. And don't forget, you can catch the Today Show every morning on NBC or take today when you're on the go. Just follow the Today podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen.